What's up, YouTube? So, now we are going to take on the third, the fourth member of the Elite Four. So, today we're going to be taking on Chantal, the, um, the Ghost-type Master. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright. So here she is, um... There is one man who wanders the world with a black dragon Pokemon to pers pursue ideals. That's the part of a novel I'm writing. I want to write down the event that happened on that day. Sorry, it has nothing to do with you. You're a challenger, right? I'm the Elite Four Ghost-type Pokemon user Chantal, and I shall be your opponent. So Chantal will lead off with Confagagus, um, and I'm gonna lead off with my Luke, my um, what do you call that, Lucario, but it's actually a Zorok, so I'm just gonna go for a foul play right off the bat. So it's gonna do around a little bit, a little bit, um, what do you call that? Under half, and I'm just gonna go through, um, Kung Fragus' moves real quick. So its ability is Mummy, um, which when you use a physical attack on him, your, your, um, ability will become Mummy also, which has, like, nothing to do. Like, doesn't affect you anything, so, um, its moves are Psychic, Shadow Ball, Will-O-Wisp, and Grass Knot. And my Zorark doesn't really have to worry about Psychic or Shadow Ball. And all it has to worry about is Will-O-Wisp and Grass Knot. So Grass Knot, um, it's a pretty special move. The heavier your Pokemon are, the more damage it's going to be. And it's at level 56, so it's going to give you some trouble, but not that much. Um, it's really good defensive, defensive-wise. And special defense and special defense, but it's offense isn't that good. So I'm just gonna go for another foul play, and it's gonna get it down to yellow. So hopefully, oh yeah, my bad. I said shadow ball doesn't affect me, but it actually does. It's only um not very effective. So hopefully he won't heal up, and she heals up. So yeah, he's gonna she's. Compagnus is going to be back at full health, and I'm just going to keep on attacking it with foul play. And hopefully I could... Ooh, critical hit. Nice. Hopefully I could get through most of our team with my Zorark. So, yeah. Hopefully it won't be much trouble. And I just reached 10,000 views, total views, so I want, to th I want to thank all of you guys very much. So next up is Golurk, which is a ground and ghost type with the ability Iron Fist. And Golurk is at level 56 with the moves Earthquake, Shadow Punch, Heavy Slam, and Brick Break. Now Golurk is um, a pretty cool Pokemon. You have to, yeah, it has Earthquake, so it will hurt your, um, what do you call it? It will hurt your Pokemon, basically, yeah. <laughs> it knows, it has Heavy Slam, which is Steel type. Shadow Punch, a Ghost type, and Brick Break, a Fighting type. So I have to worry about Brick Break, which can hurt me a lot. So I'm just gonna go for a foul play, and it does. Oh, so close! And Earthquake, good. So good thing I didn't use um Brick Break, but Earthquake will kill me. Oh, it won't. All right. So um, I will. Uh, let's see. Should I go for a foul foul play? Yeah, I'm just gonna go for a foul play. Because, you know, I was predicting that it won't heal up, so yeah. So Golurk is down, and I have 2 HP left, so now that I have 5 HP. So hopefully, um, I will do a good chunk of damage to the next Pokemon. Um, so Chantal's next Pokemon is Chandelier, and Chandelier is a Ghost and Fire type, which is her strongest Pokemon at level 58. 
it's really good special attack, so you have to be careful. It has Fire Blast, Energy Ball, Shadow Ball, and Psychic, which are all attacking moves and special attacking moves. So, I'm just going to go for a Foul Play, use as many damage as I can, as much damage as I can before it kills me, and it also holds a Citrus Berry, because all the Elite Four Strongest Pokemon has a Citrus Berry. So, Fire Blast right now is going to kill me, but, um, hope. So Zorak is down, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna go into my Starmie because it is a Water type, and I'm pretty sure Starmie is faster than a Chandelier. So I'm gonna go for a Surf. And nice, the Surf killed it. So three Pokemon down and one to go, and nice Starmie is at level 57. So the last Pokemon is Driftblim. Driftblim is at level 56 and is a ghost and flying type. Um, it's a pretty cool Pokemon, I guess, and its moves are Acrobatics, Shadow Ball, Psychic, and Thunderbolt. And you have to be careful about its ability, which is pretty cool. It's Aftermath, which um, when you kill it, it's going to do some damage to you. So you have to be careful, so make sure you're, you don't have a like, 1 HP left when you kill it because you will also die. So I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt because it is a part flying type. And yeah, let's just see how much damage it does. Nice, so it does around half. Um, Shadow, po Shadow Ball shouldn't kill my Starmie. Yeah, it shouldn't kill it because I do have amazing special defense. And one more Thunderbolt should take it out. And let's hope, let's hope it does. Let's hope it doesn't leave it with like 1 HP. And there we go. So Driftlim is down. And we defeat the last member of the Elite for Chantel. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. All of the Elite 4 members are defeated. Um, just get out there real quick. And we'll... We'll continue to the champion next time. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, comment, do whatever, all that good stuff. And thank you guys for watching.